Tonight I was off to see a band for the seventh time, making them the band who I'd seen more often than any other. So tonight's killer question? Shouldn't I be sick of them by now? It's 17th of December 2019 and today we are going to see Clutch at Southampton Guildhall, sorry, O2 Guildhall, Southampton. And they will be supported by Kamchatka, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and Graveyard. Um, I know I'm pronouncing that one right. Welcome to Southampton Guildhall. Uh, this building uh, holds the record for me as perhaps the venue with the worst acoustics I've ever been to. That's to be expected, it's just a big hall. Um, I saw David Gray here do an acoustic set a few years ago and you could not understand a word he said. And that is not just because he sounds like a sheep. It was because it echoes forever. Um, fingers crossed it won't be as bad as I remember. First on were heavy blues rock trio Kamchatka. Given that one member was ex Opeth keyboarder Per Wieberg, it's of no surprise just how powerful they sounded. I mean, just listen to these guitars. One eternity later. Actually, all joking aside, that solo from Thomas Anderson was at least five minutes long and he was absolutely fantastic all the way. The set closed with clutch drummer Jean-Paul Gaster joining them on stage. Anderson, Wieberg and Gaster collaborated back in 2005 on a project called King Hobo, so they performed one of their old tracks and that too was great to see. So yeah, they were awesome. Um, so maybe next time Cam Chatka are in town, be I'll Cam catch the... Never mind. I thought I was onto something there. Graveyard, similarly intense but with the zest of psychedelia. The most recent album, Peace, got to number one in their native Sweden. I really wish in the UK we had a similar taste. At the same time they topped the Swedish charts, Louis Capaldi was busy being substantially drearier at the top of the UK chart. So, on to Clutch, who sounded awesome as always. Tonight's set was really odd, with a sharp divide between their best known recent tracks, such as X-Ray Visions and In Walks Barbarella, and of course the mob went wild to, well, the mob goes wild. However, they also threw in some very peculiar rarities. For example, we heard the wonderfully named Spleen Merchant, performed for the first time in I think seven years and this was the kind of performance that I've never seen from Clutch before. There was one thing on the stage that got me especially intrigued and that was a keyboard. 
The ex-keyboardist Nick Shower left the band all the way back in 2008 and sadly passed away earlier this year, which meant that some of my favourite tracks from when I saw them live in 2005 and 2007 were only ever performed when a special guest was on hand. And one such song was the bizarrely titled 10001110101. I couldn't help but wonder, could they really pull that one out of the bag? Chatka returned to help out and after 12 years I never thought I would get to witness that again. I can't remember the last time I've actually been so excited to hear a particular song performed. Anyway, I'm home now, I'm grubby, I'm tired and Neil Fallon has screamed at me so much tonight that I seem to have started growing a beard. Anyway, um, I'm sure you've picked up on this by now, but tonight was awesome. However, I just want to talk about one more thing again. I want to go back to the set list. Tonight, they definitely decided to throw a lot of their latest album's tracks away. By my own experience, that's really quite strange for Clutch, because they're normally really faithful to their latest album's tracks, although they're quite good at digging out old favourites for the far more casual fans at festivals. Um, but tonight, it sounds like a much more of a retrospective celebration than anything before they disappear and record their next album. It definitely felt that way when nosing through the merch and seeing their complete discography available on vinyl. And while it was obviously well planned, the main act and support collaborations felt very impromptu. And tonight felt more for the fans than I'd seen from Clutch in the past. This set list was definitely in preparation for three special shows that they have lined up for the end of the year back in her native America where they have promised to perform 54 different songs over the course of the shows and on one night they'll play their Blast Tyrant album start to finish and I am outstandingly jealous of anyone who's going to be there. So back to the million dollar question Will I be seeing them again? Of course. Next year, they are extending a similar courtesy to the UK. They're going to be playing at Ramblin' Man Fair, and they'll be playing there three times, um, doing a completely different set every day. I'm very excited, even if my wallet isn't. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.